Hello, everyone. Welcome to Rob John's Beer Reviews. Uh, doing something a little different here, a little announcement here before I do any of my beer review videos here, new ones here. Maybe a re review. I'm not sure. You have to check me out and see. Alright. So we got beer mill here. Alright, from Lagunia. It's pretty cool, huh? Alright. By the way, this is beer, beer mill, Rob John's beer mill number 16. Alright. Pretty cool, huh? That's a. Open up this box and see what we got, alright? Give it my best shot. The trusty scissors here. Alright. Yep, bar's easy there. Now let's see what we got inside the box. Might be a, might be a beer that I've, I've reviewed before. Maybe not. Might be a new one. We'll find out just in a moment here. Alright. Oh, cool. Get a little letter here. It's new and I've never tried it before. Here we go. I'm gonna need this little something hazy ale, all right? Now, open up this box and see what we got inside, all right? Fancy uh, opener there, so nothing will shake or break in the box and in the, in the delivery or the shipping, whatever we call it. There, here we go. Right here in my hand. I'm gonna need this little something hazy. 7.2 ABV, ultra by volume, 30 IBUs, international beer units, 1065 OG, stands for original gravity, bottle on date, 6-18-19, it's about 12 days old or so there, pretty damn fresh, all right? Anyway, my beer mail sample there, this is the only one I have for right now, but I might be getting some more later, you never know, all right? Now, I'm going to have to put this in the... Uh, Refrigerator and chill it here so I can possibly uh, review this one here today. And I might have a special guest, maybe, maybe not. All depends here. Alright. Time is uh, 1 18 p.m., 6 30, 2019, Sunday. Early afternoon, alright? Now, a little bit read here, there, and I'll hang up here and I'll get ready to do my new uh, review here, possibly. Maybe not. Alright, there we go. What do I got right here? Pretty cool, huh? Alright, I'll read it to you briefly, I promise. It won't be that long. Oh, oh hey there. We're going on a natural for the summer with a classic weedier, weedenish brew you know, you know and love. Hitting shelves just in time for 4th of July. Pretty cool. Little Something Hazy is an unfiltered take on something classic <clears throat> with a special dry hopping of cashmere, citra, mosaic on a bed of centennial and, sh and chinook hops. And also Simcoe. It doesn't say it on there, but that's what it says. All right. I found out Simcoe's last when uh, Mouthfeel's uh, Jeremy Marshall. Uh, you watch the video there, you type in the website there, and he mentions Simcoe, so it's not on the, on the list here, but it's on there, so I'm going to mention it, all right? Back to what I was doing here. It's juicy, it's catty, and it leaves you with a hop scratch that you can't help but tickle with another taste. Does that clear things up? I think so. Learn To learn more about to learn more about it, check out the Mouthfeels video with our head brew monster, Jeremy Marshall, personal friend of mine, here at www.lagunitas.com slash beer slash little something dash hazy. Beer speaks, people mumble. Cheers, Max Withemeyer, Lagunitas, California. There we go. So they just read there, All right? Pretty cool, huh? Not said done there, All right? I guess about it there. See the flip side there, and 
That's it. 